Right, welcome back. We're heading in again. We'll start as, uh, wait, Marius, I think her name was. I'm trying to think if it was Marius or Mavis then. So last time we just took a. Ooh. It's just a dumb bird. Are you worthy? Test our virtues. You are deemed virtuous. Right, but last time we just took a bit of an errant fireball, uh, an errant arrow just kind of came off from the side and clipped us and killed us. Because <laughs> we have an absolute glass cannon it would seem. Took about a quarter of our health off and left us dead. But that's how we died last time. Hey, we've got a shirt. Okay, nice. Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. Okay. I'm going to try as well. Um, some of these. So alteration. So that rerolls them. Vanish or reroll. Damage. You know, dash damages and knocks back enemies. Um, oh, this is rerolled into a Chrom one. So we can get the extra projectile counts. Ooh. So we can reroll what god it's from as well. Ah. Right, let's move towards where there's some stuff to grab. Water heals your wounds. Probably keep in mind when we see like waters and wells and things then. It's probably gonna be some kind of heal typically. So it's probably best to save those for a while. Kill some enemies in the area. Greetings to you, champion. I am the arbiter of justice. <coughs> it is a pleasure to finally meet. Okay. Death has wronged both your kind and mine, and for this he must face the law. Will you help me carry out the sentence? You restore more life from heals. Your armor is increased. Whenever an enemy starts attacking you, there is a chance your attacker becomes smited. Um, affected target takes 30 damage and becomes stunned. That's what smite is. Armor, I guess, because we don't really have armor, so having any armor would be nice. Especially since, you know, we're in starting gear. The thing is, I'd put, oh, maybe more heals, but any heals practically full of healers anyway. You wish to know my purpose? To hell with you. A mortal who begs the gods is no more than a worm below their feet. Ooh. Could upgrade our rampage and strike. Or we can have shuriken shoot out. We'll go for the shurikens. That's a powerful short sort of... Oh, expansion. I'll be honest, I thought it said explosions. <laughs> When I first saw that, I was like, the power, the sort of powerful explosions, oh my god. Um, attack damage. Yes, give me damage. Is he even going to get to me? Damages you. Oh, this is Lady Justice again. Um, armor's increased more. 
Um, when an enemy damages you, you heal back a percentage of the damage and deal the enemy's damage back to it multiplied before reductions. Ooh. If it makes us sturdier. And just, here's money. I like money. Thank you. Gather all the XP and gold. Right. What have we got here? Tracking. 40% pickups. Oh wow, okay. That's a that sounds like a big bonus. Right, let's just annihilate all these now they're bunched up a bit. Death has taken many life forms before their final grain of sand had fallen. His theft of time cannot be allowed to continue. Time then. Whenever you gain a level, gain a random boon for a limited duration. Your experience pull area is increased. When, whenever you pull an experience shard through an enemy, it takes damage based on the experience in the shard. Whenever you take an experience shard, you gain movement, attack and skill speeds for a split second. Refreshes duration on stack. Hmm. Okay. Let's go for skill shards, give me bonuses. We can get those little mini shards. We could make some fun things happen. Altered Devotion, plus 3% heals. And this one is plus luck. Black Knights are now complete, thanks to two breakthroughs. Firstly, I struck gold with a dusty alchemy, uh, alchemy book. It described an ancient cohesion elixir, elixir that I used to fill the space between bone and metal, greatly magnifying my enhancements. Uh, oh no, enchantments, not enhancements. The second breakthrough is entirely of my own. Bubbles. I'm still not sure why exactly, but carbonating the formula has almost doubled its effectiveness. A big pop in the joint field of necromancy and alchemy. And here come the slimes. Ow, ow, we're getting kind of crapped on here. I think, uh, let's see. Enemies, you hit, shoot out shurikens. We can get more shurikens and piercing. I think we're going to go for the chains of war just to help keep these off me for the moment. Ah. Honestly, at the current rate that we're at, I think we don't even make it to that. Well, I think I think we just die to those bosses at this rate. We're going to need something a little extra if we want to get through. And we're stuck on this thing. We didn't introduce ourselves last time. We're the Fates. Chloe, the sleeping one, spins the strings of life. Lachi measures them and all that boring stuff, while I, Isa, snip-snip with the scissors when the time comes. 
I have the most fun job. It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that. Who knows? Your dashes become longer. You attack faster. Your attack shoots more projectiles. You know what? We'll just go for the more projectiles this time. Maybe if we upgrade it, we can get even more. I'd be tempted to see if that's actually a thing. Can we upgrade both of those abilities now to get even more of each? Okay, so we can magnetize all the gems to us. Nice. Uh, let's see. Your dash damages and knocks back enemies. Uh, you know, knockback effects are more potent. Your attack shoots more projectiles that knock enemies back. Let's go with more potent knockbacks. So our fireballs now in our basic attack, yeah, just push everyone back constantly. Ooh, I am not liking these incoming attacks. Yeah, a lot of archers there. Rogue, what's up? You haven't talked to those uh, two idiots, right? I've got way better gifts. He offers to bless you with a spell of his as, uh, as you are fighting your through death's realm. Minus dash cooldown. Not a bad idea, that. We'll go for that. Please tell me this is it's not, it's not healing. It's peace of mind. I still don't fully know what this is. I want to say maybe cooldowns. I'm trying to think. I think, I think we are attacking a bit faster, maybe. I don't know. I'm not fully certain. So we beat these last time. Good news is, um, we do appear to be. Oh, I was going to say we do appear to be doing pretty well. Then we died. <laughs> Who's this then? Who are you? I am Meris. I meant, what are you doing here? If you insist on knowing, you're going to have to stay a while and listen. Averon. I am Averon. We also have our depth offers and some belts. Armor, armor, and life, armor. Let's get in that then. Restorative robe and magnetism, sorcerer's armor. Okay, some of these are getting quite good. Hmm. Well, 
buy that. Hmm. Ooh, that has massive shard pull area. Okay, we'll keep it as is. Okay, Avron, you want the uh See he wants this and this and we want that that and that means we can sell that and that and I guess we'll just put in our stash uh, this okay it looks like we're called Nixie. So we are rogue. Oh, an assassin. Okay. Let's find out what their deal is then. I'm going to guess it's probably going to involve a lot of critical hits or something. Probably. <laughs> and this is a heal, isn't it? Yeah, so if we see a little well with that little metal prong in it, that's a heal. The other well that we can see gives us peace of mind, which I still don't know what it does, but I want to say cooldowns or something. No harm will come to us. Okay, attack speed is ridiculous. It is not for death to decide when to take a life. For breaking his duty towards the living, he must face retribution. Um, you restore more life from heals, your attacks become stronger and apply weakened. Ooh. One percent pickups. Some gold. And we've already been to the bottom area, haven't we? Right. Let's start moving then. Lady Justice is harsh, but also merciful. Order is a difficult thing to maintain, especially in the realm of the gods. Uh, frost zone spawns at random that damage and chill enemies. You leave a trail of frost or your dash throws ice shards that deal damage and apply chilled. Ooh. Chill affected is slow by 10%. If it reaches 7 stacks, move all stacks of chill and apply frozen. I think Path of Frost could be really good against bosses. And that's the reason I'm going to take it. You can, you know, you can guess, you know, alright, oh, we're, we're here, we're running away from a boss. Boss follows us, freezes. Right. Speak of a devil.
The sand of the hourglass can only refill outside of Death's Realm. Be resourceful with your time. Okay. Alteration ritual. Whenever you gain a level, gain a random boon from it. Time, whenever you take experience shard, you get movement, attack, and uh, skill speeds for a split second. Your dash leaves a vortex that pulls enemies in. Uh, yeah. We can pull them into the uh, frost that we're leaving behind. That sounds obviously amazing. And we've frozen him. There we go, it works. And there we go, it's frozen. Right. Hunting. Crit chance. Your hits have a 30% chance to recharge a dash or movement speed. Attack critical chance. Yeah. We're an assassin, we've got to, haven't we? Text from stronger apply weakened. Uh, you restore more life from heals. Prevent the next time you would take damage. The cooldown of this blessing is reduced by your damage resistance instead of cooldown reductions. Hmm. I doubt we have much damage resistance. That's probably real good on the night. We probably just want to get the attack damage here. We're a glass cannon, we should lean into that. Here that we've got a bonfire. Max life. Okay. What's this then? Arkun Kabuto of Avalanche. I mean, it looks pretty good, but God knows who wears that. Right, we're absolutely smashing it in terms of uh, getting some damage in and getting all these killed, but we are taking some nasty bits of damage in the process. I see a slime. Yep, there's the wall at the bottom. It's slime time. Time is really angered with death. To give away his hourglass, things must be dire. Immobilized enemies take more uh, take more damage. Uh yeah. Now the thing is we're able to kite them round like this but we are one hit off death if any of these happen to get a hit in which uh, they did and we are well if we weren't on one hit from death before we absolutely are now. Unfortunate. Something unlocked. Scriveners, what are these? Unlock condition 500 bones under the sword. Unlock a sign, the sign of the hero. Uh, it's Nixie, what have we got? Sign of a thread. A total of 2,000 natural 
20 damage. Sign of the thread. And then there's party. Thousand bones, six thousand bones to pick. We've got the equipment of skeleton warriors. Hmm. Okay. Some kind of meta progression thing, I guess. How goes it? What do you want? A conversation? Sorry, I'm out of those. Go check with Meris. You think we can beat death? I can. You, I doubt. <coughs> okay. Faster cooldowns, more adept offers. More adept offers. Faster cooldowns than adept offers. Um, I'm an evasion. I'm an evasion. So it looks like their their stuff's going to be geared toward evasion. So who's this armor for then? Him then. So he gets like the samurai armor then. Armor more expert offers, armor more master offers. And 2% attack at area. Eh, uh, the kind of side grade, so let's get rid of that. Okay, we've got some daggers, they probably... They cost a lot. Okay, they cost a hell of a lot. Um, we've already got a ring and a belt for her. Um, the torso piece, uh, 4 armor, 15 life. I guess. We'll secure this first. There we go. We've got some equipment now. Right. Okay. I think that's going to do it for the episode. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have a bit more of a go with the assassin next time. And then we might circle back around to the knight and the sorceress. And we'll see how far we can get. I think best with this one is probably evasion chance, I'm guessing. And probably, if we can either make our attacks have a bit more range, or just have an absolutely enormous amount of attack speed, I think either of those could work as a viable option. Or to have some kind of effect supply when we attack, because that's the other thing. If we're attacking as often as we are, then something like shoot shurikens out when you attack basically gives us a shuriken machine gun, for example. You know, something along the lines of, you know, like, morts, you know, sickles come out when you attack, or lightning comes out when you attack, or something like that. Since we're attacking a lot more often, that sort of build is probably the way I want to go. Right. Anyway, we'll give that a go next time, see what rolls we get on the, uh, on the boons. I'll see you then.